Hi, my name is Robert Dickey, Professor Robert Dickey with Gamyong University. And this is a recording for the class that should meet September 18th in the course Changap Yonga, or as we usually translate it, English for Entrepreneurs. Of course, the word Changap is one of the words that we will be talking about. Um, how to translate tongue up? Is it more like uh, startup business? Is it more like venture business? Is it more like entrepreneur? Uh, one of those challenging words that doesn't translate perfectly. But today's class has three parts. And we will also have three parts to today's lesson. Our lessons are generally three course hours. We will have three videos averaging approximately about 40 minutes each. I expect one will be longer. I expect one will be shorter. We'll see how it goes. So, on the e-board, you'll see that there is the notice about today's class. Let me, uh, yes, the yellow ball is showing. There, there's a notice for the recorded class lecture. Well, you're here. Then we'll see that at the bottom of this, it says vocabulary set number two for 918, September 18th. And there are also two other posts that we will be looking at today. First, let's take a quick look. September 18th, vocabulary set number two, common entrepreneurs terminology, common entrepreneurs words. This is the second list. You will notice from the quiz we gave early and the first list and this list, you'll see that the definitions don't match exactly. That's normal, that's natural, don't worry about that. We don't want you to memorize perfect definitions. Instead, we want you to understand the concept, be able to give us explanations about these concepts. And again, if you want, you can memorize these words in Korean. You can learn definitions of these words in Korean. But ultimately, you're going to need to be able to give us an English answer when someone asks you on my test or in the English test for our graduate school, what is the meaning of some word. And as I note, uh, sometimes I'll give you the list of words in PDF, I think always, and I usually will also give you the list in a second format. Perhaps it's doc file, docx file, both of those you can open with a number of different word processors, and sometimes it's just a simple txt file, whichever. Um, it's just another resource for you. Sometimes something not PDF is easier to copy paste from sometimes. It's up to you. Okay, we will come back to this later, but we're going to start the class on a different area. So there are two other sections which we can see down here. The second post is, are you an entrepreneur? And the third post is key thoughts on English language and communication. We're going to start with the are you an entrepreneur post because it's short and because it, uh, the post is short. The information is quite long because it includes four different videos 
that helps us to understand the problem with this word chang'e. Are you an entrepreneur? So let's contrast entrepreneur with small business. Now these words don't match exactly. Uh, if you said entrepreneur and small businessman, that would be a little bit closer match. Small businessman, small businesswoman. But we're just going to use small business for short. The word entrepreneur is often mixed up, conflated. Okay, conflated means that we mix together and we should keep the ideas separate, but we don't. We mix them up and it's hard to separate. So sometimes the word entrepreneur is conflated with the word small business. People don't understand the difference. Or sometimes it's used interchangeably. It's like, I don't care which word I say. Well, most entrepreneurial, uh, I can't speak, most entrepreneurial ventures, venture, a word we'll look at, start out as a small business. But not all small businesses are entrepreneurial. If we think about the word entrepreneur quite strictly. Now before we go on you'll notice that this page has some links and if you are visiting this page on the eboard and you click on that link it will take you to Wikipedia. Hmm? That's just another resource. It's not a better resource. It's just another resource. Uh, let's go back to where we were. Alright. Many small businesses are sole proprietor operations consisting solely of the owner. Or they have a small number of employees. And many of these small businesses offer an existing product process or service and they do not aim at growth. Now we have some videos that's going to talk about this more. Proprietor, sole proprietor. Proprietor means owner. Operation, what we do. Sole, meaning one. Sole proprietor means there's only one owner. Okay, we see afterwards it says consisting solely of the owner. In this case, consisting only of the owner means the owner is the only worker. Sole proprietor means one owner. And the team, the workers, is just the owner. I work by myself. Or they have a small number of employees. Okay, how small is small? How big is big? I don't know, you decide. Five? Twenty-five? In Korea, there are some legal standards as to what qualifies as small or medium business so that they can qualify for government benefits. But in general talk, small business sounds like probably, probably less than 20 or 25. Probably. But not exactly. There's no perfect answer. Okay, so a small business, one or few workers, one owner, that's usual for a small business. And many small businesses offer an existing product process or service. It's not innovative. It's not a new concept. In class, I have mentioned the idea of I open my barber shop to cut hair. There's nothing new about cutting hair. There are barber shops everywhere. And the third point is they don't aim for growth. 
growth meaning I'm opening one shop today but I hope to own 1,000 shops in the future that would be fantastic growth okay. the idea is that they're looking to just kind of maintain grow a little maybe but nothing real exciting that's small business in contrast entrepreneurial ventures usually offer an innovative product, process, or service. Not an existing, but an innovative. Something that nobody does, or at least it's new in this town. Nobody has seen it. Nobody has had it. And the and the entrepreneur aims to scale up the company. They're looking for growth to scale up, to make much bigger. By adding employees, looking for international sales, etc., etc. And generally, entrepreneurial businesses are not financed from my pocket because I'm not a millionaire, but I look for venture capital and angel investors. Again, there are links here if you want to look at those. Successful entrepreneurs have the ability to lead the business in a positive direction by positive planning, uh, by proper planning, adapting to changing environments, and understanding their own strengths and weaknesses. Those are that is a general idea of the difference between entrepreneur and small business. Now, frankly, most of the students that I have met, most students that I have met in this program are focusing on small business. The the word that people point to in amazement when they talk about entrepreneur is unicorn. This idea that a company will become so fantastically big. We'll learn more about that word later. But that's just kind of a hint that if you aren't working towards unicorn, that's one sign that maybe you're not an entrepreneur. Okay, so we're gonna look at some videos. First, I want to let you know that on this page, you can get the text to the four videos we're gonna watch. Here's a copy of it. All right. But the first time, we're just gonna watch a video. Now, I'm going to stop myself, my recording here, because I need to make sure that my system is going to record and play the video properly. Okay? So, don't worry about it. You'll see a short flash as this recording stops and restarts. Okay, so the first few seconds in these videos is silent. Welcome to Unit 1, Video 4. What is entrepreneurship? In this video, we will define entrepreneurship and other related vocabulary and concepts. We will also compare entrepreneurs and small business owners and look at how they are similar, the same, and how they are different, not the same. Let's get started. Entrepreneurship is the making of a new business. A new business can be a startup, which is a business that did not exist before, or a new business can be an old business that is changed so that it can be more successful. An example of changing a business could be buying a restaurant and changing the menu. 
Therefore, entrepreneurship is the making of a new business through creating a startup or buying and changing an existing business. An entrepreneur is a person who takes an idea and turns it into a successful new business that is expected to grow. Being an entrepreneur is more than just having an idea, passion, and the willingness to work hard. Being an entrepreneur also requires business skills. Please take a few minutes now to learn more about the famous entrepreneur Elon Musk by watching Elon Musk's Journey to Mars. Okay, um, these videos come from a course that was prepared by the University of Pennsylvania with money from the U.S. government. Uh, technically, you have to log in to this course to be able to watch these videos, but you don't have to pay. I'm showing the videos in this class, so you don't have to listen to my voice all the time. Now, I'm going to play this video again. And I'm going to show you the script that goes with this. Now I know the words will be small, but this is the script that you can download from the website. And you can play this video as many times as you want. So let's go back and I will stop things let's go welcome to unit one video four what is entrepreneurship in this video we will define entrepreneurship and other related vocabulary and concepts Okay, so this is a big part of our class. The script says, in this video, we will define entrepreneurship, give a definition, and other related vocabulary and concepts. Concept means idea, a thing that we talk about. All right. uh, it doesn't have to be a new idea, it's just an idea. Korea is an idea. It's a country. It's a culture. It's more than just ground when we say Korea. Right? That's a concept. We will also compare entrepreneurs and small business owners and look at how they are similar, the same, and how they are different, not the same. Okay. Similar means basically the same. This video was created for language learning. Okay? Was designed for people to study just like you're studying. To learn the vocabulary and ideas behind entrepreneurship. As I mentioned in the early days of this class, my goals include not just teaching English, but helping you to understand some concepts some ideas, some approaches and philosophies in entrepreneurship, particularly in the global setting. Right? If you're only working in Korea, maybe you only need Korean. But if you're going to work with foreign businesses, maybe to acquire ideas, technology licenses, or to expand your business, or to get foreign money and support, then you'll need not only the words of business, not only the grammar of English, but you're gonna under, you're going to need to understand how foreigners understand these ideas. Because in some cases, foreigners understand these ideas differently than how Koreans do. 
And Chang'up is a good example where this idea of entrepreneur and this idea of small business or business startup kind of get conflated. Yeah, Koreans can say entrepreneur in Korean language. But very often, the idea of Chang'up kind of includes that idea of starting a new business and maybe dreaming it goes big but maybe not dream dreaming it goes big. Anyway, it's chung up, it's new. So. Let's get started. Entrepreneurship is the making of a new business. Okay, the making of a new business. But a new business doesn't have to mean a brand new business. That's her next sentence. A new business can be a startup, which is a business that did not exist before. Or, a new business can be an old business that is changed so that it can be more successful. Okay, so if I buy a hair cutting shop and I don't change anything except now I'm the owner and I'm the staff, that doesn't really qualify as a new business. And in either way, it's not a brand new building with a brand new business, and it's not really something changed. It's just the same business with new staff. Okay. So when we say new business, it can be a startup, a brand new place, a brand new business in a new building. You know, the old business in this space was different. Before it was a nail salon. But that went out of business. I took it and I opened my hair cutting business. That's a startup. Right? If it is a hair cutting shop and I make no changes, then I didn't make a change to be successful, as it says over here. Changed to be more successful. I didn't make a change. But if I change the barber shop by adding new features, not just painting it, but adding uh, some other activities or programs, maybe I put in uh, a dartboard or, or bottom tables, and I encourage people to come in and hang out, you know, make it social. I sell coffee and I sell small snacks, and I make this barber shop a kind of a community center, that's quite different than an ordinary barber shop. That's pretty significant change. All right, now she's gonna give us a simpler change. An example of changing a business could be buying a restaurant and changing the menu. Therefore, aren't Whoops. So we noticed that she changed the menu from kind of main foods, pizza, sandwich, soup, pasta, to kind of snacks or desserts, cake, pie, coffee, tea. It's a completely different style of restaurant. It would be like buying a kimbap chip, right? Kimbap jungle. And changing it to... Uh, Western Sandwich Place, right? Uh, Subway. It's the same building, still selling food, but it's such a big change that no one will confuse it. It's a new business. It's a new kind of a startup. Therefore, entrepreneurship is the making of a new business through creating a startup or buying and changing an existing business. An entrepreneur is a person who takes an idea and turns it into a successful new business that is expected to grow. Okay, so there's two parts here, or three parts. One, entrepreneur is a person. Right? It's a person. Part two, takes an idea and turns it into a successful new business. Okay, so as I said, the barbershop idea is not new. 
and uh, social center is not new. You can go to the you know book you hate on, uh, knowing whatever. But now I I combine these things, kind of like a coffee shop, a simple coffee shop. Think of it like maybe like the old style dabang. Right? Don't don't think about dabang yoja. Just the old style dabang, right? Where people sit around and chat. Kind of blending these together. Now that's a new idea. Barber, coffee, and community. Okay, take a new idea, turn that into a successful business. And she said one other part that's not in this picture. We can find it in the text on the right. A successful new business that is expected to grow. Not just be stable. Entrepreneurs aim for dynamic growth, super growth. Maybe not unicorn, but super growth. Let's continue. Being an entrepreneur is more than just having an idea, passion, and the willingness to work hard. Being an entrepreneur also requires business skills. Please take a few minutes now to learn more about the famous entrepreneur Elon Musk by watching Elon Musk's Journey to Mars. Okay. So that's the first video that we're watching together. What is an entrepreneur? How is entrepreneurship different from a startup? How is uh, uh, how do we define startup? It's either a new business or an old business that has been changed. Okay, three key parts. Now I'm going to scroll my scripts to the next one. It's a little bit longer, and I'm going to open up video two. Sorry, it's a little bit hard on this computer to do that. Open video two. And sound should be now. Entrepreneurs share some common business skills. First, they are very good at finding the right idea that has the potential to succeed and grow. In other words, finding the right opportunity. Second, entrepreneurs are very good at identifying needed resources like materials, people, and money, as well as potential customers. They're also very good at making a plan and getting support, such as attracting employees and investors. Finally, entrepreneurs are very good at implementing the plan and pursuing growth. This means they are good at doing what the plan says and at looking for ways to increase the size of the business over time. As we discussed in our definition of entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs often begin with a startup, but may also buy an existing business and change it. Entrepreneurs also share other management styles. For example, they are efficient at starting a business and making plans for growth but they may not be efficient at managing day-to-day -day operations. Let's pause and talk about that term. Day-to-day -day is an adjective that describes things that happen on a daily basis. Operations is a noun that describes activities that happen as part of running a business. Day-to-day -day operations, therefore, are activities that happen on a daily basis to keep a business running like making products and selling them to customers. So entrepreneurs may not be efficient at managing day-to-day -day operations. And this seems to be true for Elon Musk, who said in the video, sales and finance are not really my forte. A forte is a strength. So Elon Musk is saying that sales and finance are not his strength. In addition, Entrepreneurs often sell a startup or a new business once it grows to a certain size. Okay, now we're going to stop there for just a moment. 
give your ears a break. You'll notice that I didn't move this text because I didn't want to scare you. It's quite long. But I'm going to go ahead and put that there. But in fact, honestly, I prefer this first listen, you just listen. Don't try to worry about the text exactly. We'll do that in the second view. All right, let's continue. And may own many businesses at the same time. Lastly, entrepreneurs like Elon Musk often own many businesses over their careers. Entrepreneurs and small business owners share many skills and styles, but they are not the same. A small business owner is a person who owns and manages a small business and is responsible for day-to-day -day operations. Just like entrepreneurs, small business owners are very good at finding the right idea that has the potential to succeed, identifying needed resources, and potential customers, making a plan, getting support, and implementing a plan. Small business owners are also good at maintaining success, which means they want their business to stay small and do not pursue growth like entrepreneurs. Harry and Francis Edelstein are good examples of small business owners. In 1980... Okay, now we'll come back to this example Again, this video is long. As you can see, it's about five and a half minutes. All right, I'm going to move this script. We're now at this part where she just said Harry and Francis Edelstein. Edelstein is a family name. Harry and Francis, husband and wife probably, right? Harry is a boy's name. Francis could be a boy or a girl's name actually. Let's go. To stay small and do not pursue growth like entrepreneurs. Harry and Francis Edelstein are good examples of small business owners. In 1980, they opened Cafe Edison in New York City, New York, in the United States. The restaurant was very popular for over 30 years and was their only business. There's an article about Cafe Edison in the supplemental materials if you'd like to read more. Small business owners like Harry and Francis Edelstein often begin with a startup, but may also buy an existing business that they may or may not change. Unlike entrepreneurs, a small business owner efficiently manages day-to-day -day operations and often owns the business for a long time. This is because a small business owner is often more focused on stability, keeping the business stable or safe, than on growth. A small business owner also often owns only one business at a time and may own that one business for his or her entire life. Some small business owners start as entrepreneurs, but then they decide that they enjoy managing day-to-day -day operations more than looking for growth. Entrepreneurs and small business owners are both important to economic development. They share many of the same skills, but they are not the same. Okay, um, the very end is discussion more about the course uh, that this video came from and we don't really need to look at it, all right? Let's go back to the top and take things more slowly. Entrepreneurs share some common business skills. First, now I've just noticed that there's a mistake in this text. Entrepreneurs share some common business skills, period. The end. The next sentence is first, da 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 da, then second, da 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 da. But we can see in the text that it's not perfect. Okay? 
this is a transcript and sometimes it's not perfect all right so entrepreneurs across we look at many many different entrepreneurs we can find that most entrepreneurs have certain skills the same that means kind of if you don't have this skill probably you will not be a successful entrepreneur that's the hint so let's take a look at these common skills business skills that entrepreneurs have they are very good at finding the right idea that has the potential to succeed and grow okay first it's about idea find a good idea the right idea that can succeed and grow that idea may be limited to certain places something that might be a good idea in Daegu might not work in Busan something might be a great global idea something might have been an idea in 1980 and it failed because it was the wrong time but the same idea in the year 2020 might succeed okay so it's not just finding an idea it's finding the right idea that has the potential to succeed and grow okay because remember with entrepreneur we're talking about growth in other words finding the right opportunity second entrepreneurs are very good at identifying needed resources like materials people and money as well as potential customers okay so entrepreneurs have to be able to identify what they need to be successful it's not just a great idea it's not enough to have a great idea and to find the right location if you can't find the best resources for example I want to make something when I was a child I was in junior achievement which is an American kind of club where children high school kids learn business skills by opening these micro businesses but they're clubs it's only a business for six months or one year I forgot anyway our business was making something out of wood and for the business to be successful we had to find good quality wood it had to be pretty and it had to be a good price if it was too expensive we couldn't do it and it had to be something that we could receive in other words if the wood was very very far away how would we get it pay for shipping well now maybe it's not a good deal anymore so we need to be able to find the right materials we need to find the right people people who have the right skills I need good salesmen I need salesmen who I can trust they're not gonna cheat me salesmen who understand the kind of business I'm doing and probably we're gonna need money more money than I have in my pocket so those would be three uh, resources we're also gonna need to be able to find customers now uh, in my club we were selling in a big shopping mall we went to the shopping mall owners and said we're just kids we're selling this small thing can we have a little space in the mall so that people walk by can buy it we're not competing with anybody in the mall and some shopping mall said yes some shopping mall said no so our aim for customers was anybody who walked by because our things were small they were cute we were kids but in a different business it might be much more difficult to find your customers so entrepreneurs are very good at identifying needed resources like material people and money as well as potential customers they're also very good at making a plan and getting support such as attracting employees and investors Finally, entrepreneurs are very good at implementing the plan and pursuing growth. This is a key element for entrepreneurs. Actually, there's two here. 
One is developing a plan and implementing the plan. Implementing means following it, doing it. We too often see small businesses that create plans because they need to give something to city or they need to give something to somebody who's giving them money. But that plan goes in a nice binder, goes up on the bookcase and never gets looked at again. No, entrepreneurs need to be able to develop a plan and follow a plan because entrepreneurs usually have other people who are supporting with money and those supporters expect you to follow the plan. Good plan, follow the plan. And that the plan involves growth. So one of my aims is always, how do I get bigger? What's the maximum size I can be in this business how do I get there? That's part of the definition of entrepreneur. Small businessman doesn't really have to have a business plan. He can kind of go day by day by what he feels. And he's not really pursuing growth. I've got my barber shop. I'm happy with that. I've got my independent coffee shop and I'm happy with that. I have my consulting and I am the consultant. I have a couple of staff who help me, but I am the consultant. I don't want to have eight other consultants working with me. I'm not pursuing growth. I like my small business. I know everything. I control everything. So entrepreneurs are different. This means they are good at doing what the plan says and at looking for ways to increase the size of the business over time. As we discussed in our definition of entrepreneurship, Entrepreneurs often begin with a startup, but may also buy an existing business and change it. Okay, so when an entrepreneur buys an existing business and changes it, they change the business because they think this change will make it grow. By the way, if you hear any sound in the background, Today is a typhoon day, and it's quite windy outside. Now, I'm going to try to close one more window that might help a little, but it's quite noisy outside. It's a typhoon day. All right. Entrepreneurs often begin with a startup, but may buy an existing business and change it. Because if it's a small business and I don't change it, how do I make it grow? Well, perhaps I just like the name or I just like the existing business, but I want to make a franchise model. I want to duplicate this restaurant, open it in a second place, and then when I can show that the second restaurant is also successful, now I can talk to other people and say, look at this business, it's doing so well. Don't you want to buy a franchise? Don't you want to run my business? Guess what? That's the McDonald's model. McDonald's started off as a mom and pop, well, two brothers, running a restaurant and a salesman came in and saw the business and thought that's a great business guys I'll go partners with you if you let me sell franchises to other people and they agreed and now McDonald's is everywhere in the world and about 10% of McDonald's restaurants are owned by McDonald's Inc., McDonald's International. 90% of McDonald's restaurants are franchises, including all in Korea. One company bought the franchise rights for Korea. And so they can now open franchises inside of Korea, anywhere they want. They're all owned by that company. They, they could sell sub-franchises, think they do. I don't think they do. I think they're all owned. Burger King is the same model. One company 
owns all the Burger King. So that's a franchise model that's based on one business where the business that the customer sees didn't really change. The business changed because it went from a sole proprietorship or you know two brothers into a franchise model business even though the operations inside any one restaurant really didn't change. Okay? So the change in business doesn't have to be change in operations exactly. It could be change in scope creating more stores and maybe they're all owned by me I buy one so I know everything and now I build 12 more of the same different places okay so uh, how do we change the business doesn't have to be change the menu all right continue entrepreneurs also share other management styles for example they are efficient at starting a business and making plans for growth, but they may not be efficient at managing day-to-day -day operations. Okay, so the example they give about entrepreneurs not being, may not be efficient, well-skilled, able to do well at managing day-to-day -day operations is, I'm, I'm up here and I have this CEO vision. Okay. And I'm imagining what's going to happen next year and five years from now and 25 years from now and making business deals. But in terms of running the restaurant, I need a COO, okay. chief of operations, operations, somebody who's running the business daily. My skill is getting money so that we can grow, selling the concept, getting other people to buy franchises but maybe I'm not good at making hamburgers. I'm not good at working with high school and university kids who are most of our staff. So I might not be good at day to day. I might be good at, at a higher level. So I'm an entrepreneur and the guy running the, the store might be something closer to a small businessman even though he's not the owner, all right? So they, they are good at the big picture entrepreneur stuff, but they might not be good at the running the business stuff. On the other hand, a, a businessman, small businessman, he's not worrying about that, you know, let's find uh, $80 million to be able to do this growth. Uh, let's find people to buy franchises. The small businessman is running his business. Okay. And so that's what she goes on in detail. And we're going to listen again, but not spend much time on it. This idea of operations, of day-to-day -day operations. Let's go. Let's pause and talk about that term. Day-to-day -day is an adjective that describes things that happen on a daily basis. Operations is a noun that describes activities that happen as part of running a business. Day-to-day -day operations, therefore, are activities that happen on a daily basis to keep a business running, like making products and selling them to customers. Okay. Now she's going to refer to uh, an, the video we didn't watch, the Elon Musk video, and so I'm going to kind of skip through that part. Because we didn't really talk about that. Time. Lastly, entrepreneurs like Elon Musk often own many businesses over their careers. Entrepreneurs and small business owners share many skills and styles, but they are not the same. A small business owner is a person who owns and manages a small business and is responsible for day to day operations. Okay, we're going to finish this video and then we're going to finish this recording, recording A, and then you can take a break and go do whatever you want to do and come back and be able to watch 
the second video and the third video for this class. All right, let's finish this one. Just like entrepreneurs, small business owners are very good at finding the right idea that has the potential to succeed, identifying needed resources and potential customers, making a plan, getting support, and implementing a plan. Okay, so as I mentioned, perhaps making a plan and implementing a plan is a little bit less important for small businessmen. They can kind of adapt more easily. Small business owners are also good at maintaining success, which means they want their business to stay small and do not pursue growth like entrepreneurs. Harry and Francis Edelstein are good examples of small business owners. In 1980, they opened Cafe Edison in New York City, New York in the United States. The restaurant was very popular for over 30 years and was their only business. There's an article about Cafe Edison in the supplemental materials if you'd like to read more. Uh, and I'm not going to offer you that uh, supplementary material. I think I have it, but uh, don't worry about a restaurant in New York. It's not key to our aim. Small business owners like Harry and Francis Edelstein often begin with a startup, but may also buy an existing business that they may or may not change. Unlike entrepreneurs, a small business owner efficiently manages day-to-day -day operations and often owns the business for a long time. Okay, let's be clear that while a small business owner focuses on operations, and may own the business for a long time. That does not mean an entrepreneur cannot. An entrepreneur could own a business for a long time, could be very involved in the operations side. And if we look at something like Microsoft or Apple, the founders in those companies often stayed in for 30 years or more. Some other companies, the founder got pushed out by investors at some point because the founder thought he was good with, with the operations. The founder thought he was good at general management, but the investors decided that maybe the founder wasn't as good as he thought. And in fact, that happened to several people. Uh, what's his name with Apple? Got kicked out. And about 10 years later, he came back. I, I'm terrible for names, the, the Apple guy. Um, the key point here is that with small business owners, they're not looking to have this big growth. And they, small business owners don't have a lot of choice. They kind of have to specialize in uh, operations pretty much not perfectly in my own life I worked in a flower shop yeah I did in college and the business was created by a man who opened finally he opened seven different flower shops and they were very successful but he was getting older and he didn't want to work so hard so he sold six of those shops in different parts of the city and one of them was bought by his brother. His brother was a successful small businessman as uh, housing construction, building houses. But that brother who bought the shop had some good staff who knew how to do day-to-day -day operations. So the owner just came in from time to time to see what was going on, to pick up some money. The business was successful but was not involved in day-to-day -day operations at all. Sometimes he'd come in and say, we need to paint that, that, that wall looks terrible. That, that's the, that was his level. So again, we're painting this picture of small business owners being involved in operations and long-term, and entrepreneurs maybe not involved in operations and probably not long-term, but it's not black and white. 
there can be both. We're just finishing up this video. This is because a small business owner is often more focused on stability, keeping the business stable or safe, than on growth. A small business owner also often owns only one business at a time and may own that one business for his or her entire life. Some small business owners start as entrepreneurs, but then they decide that they enjoy managing day-to-day -day operations more than looking for growth. Entrepreneurs and small business owners are both important to economic development. They share many of the same skills, but they are not the same. Okay, and so that's the end of the first video lecture for September 18th. I'm going to stop here. All right, the next video lecture for our class will start with the third video that is available on the website. See you in a little bit.